up, Harlem? Jimmy Jazz, what's going on? Thank y'all for joining us tonight, man. I'm sitting here with a man that's a, a big inspiration of mine. He goes by the name of Emery Jones, Vegas Jones. Make some noise for him. We here celebrating the Bet On Yourself collection. So uh, my first question for Emery is, how long have you been plotting this particular collection? I'm gonna be honest. Be honest. My whole life, like, um, it's bigger than the clothes for me. Clothes just a little backdrop of it. For me, it's about the message and the conversation. And the conversation is always bigger than the clothes. Mm. What's the conversation you trying to create? For me, it's more or less like I've been through a lot, but but I don't want you know them downtimes be the, the defining story of me. You know what I'm saying? Jail is just a small chapter of a big book, very small. But jail, you know, what I mean, when you deal with a lot of dudes who go to jail, don't mean they bad people. They was good people. It's just a bad situation. And are you in this position if you don't go to jail? I think so. Mm -hmm. But guess what? I don't want to think like that. I think like everything happened for a reason. All right. And uh, just as much as jail has, you know, all the bad things about it, I came across some great people. Why was uh, Puma a good place for you to set up shop? When I was coming up, it was never no one brand told us what to do. We told the brand what to do. Right. Eight years ago, the only two sneakers you talked about was Nike and Jordan. So when I first walked in my building, you know, in the office with it, you know, my brothers was like, man, get that shit up out of here. <laughs> Which is cool for me because guess what? Nobody can tell me what to do with this. So it was always about setting the tone, and I really did it for my son. Because at that moment, you know, when I went in, the same, the same little guy that started in that video is my son. And um, I went in when he was born. So to come back and build that relationship now and, and see him, you know, living out what he wanted to do, that's what it was about for me. You told Complex that you took a chance with Puma and Puma took a chance on you. What, what were those chances? It's easy to say, you know, I know what I know. Sometimes you don't want to attach to something that might come back and bite you, right? So for them to take a chance on me, I wake up every day appreciating that relationship, appreciating that partnership, because I made a promise to myself that it's not always about the money. What do you see Puma in the overall landscape of like sneaker culture now? I mean, it's the same thing I seen when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I bought my first pair of suede boomers. I don't want to tell my age, but shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't make me tell my age. It's like, you know, I watched the culture. I mean, just going back to the conversation I was having with you, I got you and Scratch here for a reason. Mm -hmm. Because just as much as I inspire y'all, y'all inspire me. We talked about uh, Cambridge, you know, Groove City. Mm -hmm. And you had a sweatsuit called Groove City. Yeah. And you said everything goes back to your home. So how does the bet on yourself line go back to your home? This line. I was telling him earlier, right? You see this t-shirt, right? Each collection comes with a patch and the box comes with a patch. So in that, that patch right there is my life in that one patch. So, so the patch, the patch and the box and everything says 332240337. Um, to some real ones in the room, they know what that means. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so that's, that's my Fed number. And I'm not here to glorify jail. I'm just here to tell you that that was a small chapter in a big book. Mm. That don't define me, that's just a part of me. Talk about the, uh, the details in the suit, the rose gold. So for me, you know, the rose gold just represents, you know, that hustler, that, that real hustler that we know, right? So did your team know that you was into fashion even before you got locked up? Of course. Yeah. Jay one day said, yo, you gonna send you to shopping rehab. <laughs> I had a problem. It makes sense when I think about like the letter Jay wrote on your behalf and he said I'm gonna give him a position at Rock Nation Apparel. Mm -hmm. And then now look. Oh, that was Rock Aware. Rock Aware. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I mean, think about it because I tell people all the time there's three universal languages in this world. Music, sports, and fashion. It's the three things we gonna all have a conversation regardless of where we're from what age, what color, mm -hmm. it don't matter. Them three things, we can get in the room and have a conversation about. Most thing I love about Puma, they're good people. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, good people we communicate, we can always figure out something better. 
So what's next? I heard, I heard Amory Jones and the Bet on Yourself line with Paul. For real, this is my last one. Really? I already won. You know what I'm saying? So to wake up and see my son in the face of this, product is king. Mm -hmm. You can't deny the product. Product is fire. So you said this your last your last collection with them, but you just bought your brother home over there, right? Like, oh, there's still business to be done. Okay. 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 Gotcha. Gotcha. We got big. We, got big. we just did the basketball. Think about it, you know? So for me, I looked at it as all I need is one day in the closet. If I get one day out your month, that's how I think. If I get one day out your month, you might like the hat, somebody else might like the sock, somebody else might like the sweatshirt. One day. And it's available now, right? Right now. Right now. My, my final question is why is it important to bet on yourself? We bet on all the wrong things all the time. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm a dope boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a hustler. I, I, you know, that's my deal. You know what I mean? And when you think about it, every day we woke up and went to the block to put our life on the line for something that was about everything else than us. Mm -hmm. Every single day. So I'm like, shit, we do that. But never wake up and say, hold up. I'm gonna bet on me. Mm, that's right. Mm. So it's about that. I love it. Bet on me. At all times. 100 percent Make some noise for Emery Jones, y'all. Make sure y'all go get a t-shirt or some sneakers, a sweatsuit, something. Support somebody that's supporting us, man. Thank you, Emery. Get more, get more, get more, get more.